I really messed up guys. Most people, including me, when they install their muzzle device, they throw on a crush washer, then thread on their muzzle device and start torquing that sucker down. But when you're using a quick detach muzzle device, you're gonna wanna take that crush washer and do this. Throw that thing straight into the garbage because that is not the right tool at all for the job, guys, because you could end up with something like this a muzzle device stuck inside your suppressor. What's up everybody? Today I want to talk to you about the gospel of shims for your QD muzzle devices so that you can avoid having a muzzle device that is stuck inside of your suppressor, kind of like this. So why is properly installing a QD muzzle device so important and crucial in the first place? The main reason is if you want to use a QD system on your can, then you're going to need a QD muzzle device for compatibility purposes. QDs come in handy when you want to do things like swap one suppressor between multiple guns, or if you want to quickly detach your suppressor to reduce the length of your gun for any reason. Just remember guys, if you are doing a lot of shooting, let that suppressor cool off before you go removing it. That thing is probably gonna get pretty hot and spicy. Installing a QD muzzle device is super important, not only for maintaining accuracy, but also for preventing damage to your expensive suppressor. What I mean here is if your muzzle device is misaligned, then it could lead to issues down the road. Baffle strikes would be the chief problem with a misaligned muzzle device, which is when the bullet comes into contact with the interior baffles of the suppressor. These can be catastrophic and require you to warranty your suppressor, which can get pretty expensive. So in my hand right here is a crush washer and a crush washer works by placing it on the muzzle first before you put on your muzzle device. When you torque down your muzzle device, the crush washer deforms. This deformation creates friction between the muzzle device and the barrel's threads. The slight bevel on the washer facing the barrel ensures maximum tightness. Most muzzle devices say that you should torque them down to about 35 foot pounds in order to get this proper level of friction on the threads and a secure lockup. Now this is the OG way of securing a muzzle device and it's worked for decades, but it's not the best for QD muzzle devices. So in my hand, here are some examples of shims and these have a few differences from crush washers. They are much thinner and flatter and instead of crushing and deforming, they're going to be used as spacers to help provide precise alignment. You can get shims typically in kits like this one that come in various thicknesses and they're going to be the ones that we want to use when installing a QD muzzle device. But why is that? Well, an issue with crush washers is that they can cause your muzzle device to get stuck, kinda like this. This is because crush washers behave differently from traditional nuts and bolts when you tighten them down. With a nut and a bolt, the torque you apply keeps increasing as you tighten. With a crush washer, once you hit a certain torque, it crushes and deforms and the torque starts to flatten out. Think of it kind of like squeezing a sponge. When it's fully squeezed, compressing it harder and harder doesn't really do anything and no more water comes out. If you need more force to unscrew the quick detach muzzle device than what the crush washer yields at, it will fail and come off still inside the suppressor. Kinda like this guy right here. This is going to be a pain to get out and that's probably a good video for later on. Also, if you over tighten and then break it off, the crush washer isn't going to spring back like a sponge might and you're left with a gap that can cause misalignment issues that we already talked about. The Precision Armament AccuWasher system can simplify the installation process by using marked washers to achieve perfect timing. You start out with threading on the reference washer and hand tighten the muzzle device to check the alignment. Then you consult the handy dandy instruction manual to select the correct washer based on the degrees needed for adjustment. You then install the washer, hand tighten it again, and then fully time it with the help of a wrench. Now this system is really accurate and it eliminates the need to stack multiple shims on top of each other. But to be honest, if you're the user who doesn't replace their muzzle devices super often, then you might not find the value in the extra cost and parts that come in this kit. 
A much lower cost alternative would be jam nuts. These are an alternative to crush washers that provide much more precise timing and higher torque value. They work by screwing directly onto the barrel of the firearm. The muzzle device is then tightened against the jam nut, creating a secure connection. This method allows for more accurate alignment and a stronger hold than simple crush washers. A lot of people like jam nuts because they're reusable, but they do lose effectiveness with each use due to wear and tear on those threads. So make sure you're staying aware of that if you plan on switching this between multiple guns. I prefer jam nuts, but besides crush washers, shims are the most affordable and most common option for installing a QD muzzle device. The process can be a little tricky and you don't want to overlook any of the key details. To learn the right way to install a QD muzzle device with shims, check out my complete guide in next week's video, which you can find right here.